He knows what he did. He knows what he. Brianna's did. not going to discuss <laughs> on stream why she hates Jeb, but he he knows what he did. Poor Jeb. <laughs> Poor oh, Jeb. Oh, oh face. Oh. Okay. So I think we are oh. safe. For the oh most my part. gosh. No, Laura, you can totally backseat driving, backseating, any any of it. Yeah, yes. I, I, I said really at the beginning of the stream, I pl I've played KSP, but I played like two and a half years ago, which was like a lot of patches ago. So any any tips you guys want to offer us are definitely welcome. Yeah, Lorem's played about 500 hours. So. Yeah, I think I, I played... How about... I played a pretty... I probably like played about 60 oh, hours, but it was all on older patches, so... All right, we got everything back. We got no experience points. Now my legs can get some circulation. Okay. Uh, we need the popcorn. No, Casey. Haul Come here. Up. a drogue shoot into orbit. How about? I don't think we have the power to do that yet. Our dog is eyeing um, the popcorn. <laughs> she is. She's stalking it like a predator. Test the TT38K radial decoupler in flight. I think we can do that. I think we already have that. I think we can just load up our, our old friend... A slightly less Girl probable disaster. And yeah, I think that is isn't that what that decoupler is? No. Oh, that's a TR eighteen. Okay, so we need we need to do a radial decoupler. Okay, so um let's start over. We're gonna need to build something a little bit bigger to do this one. So stick some fuel tanks on here. We might need a couple of them, actually. Let's do all of the fuel tanks. And then we'll do a liquid engine. <laughs> Remember, we do have to pay for all of this. I'm, oh, I, I I'm, thought you I'm trying, to pay for it. I'm trying to run our space program somewhat cheaply for the beginning so we don't run out of money. I, I think Fine. we I think we can take loans, but yeah, we want to we want to be somewhat financially responsible. Um, Okay, so let's do... We hope your internet survives Lorem as well. By radio. What's going on with Lorem's internet? It, it's, it's apparently sucky. Oh, that sucks. Satellite internet. Ah. Ew. And then we'll stick... <laughs> Why do you have satellite, satellite internet? Some areas, that's like the best you can get. That's cool looking. Yeah, so they, they want us to test these things, which are supposed to eject the boosters from... Of course, I don't think we have any aerodynamics, do we? Mm. Coupling. I don't think we've unlocked any anything from that. Uh, no, that's fine. Uh, oh no, no, no. I can still read it. Okay, we okay. This is all we have, so we can't put nose cones on these or anything. But hopefully, hopefully, we can keep this stable. I'm not super confident that we can, <laughs> but this is like soon. I mean, it's like, it's at least an even shape. Yeah. Um, you could cut it in half down most of its lines, the important ones. Those oh, wait, here's what we can do. Statements. <laughs> just talking? <laughs> I'm mean, like, you could cut it, you can cut it in half the one way, and you could cut it in half the other way, and it'd be even, so and that yes, has to do something yes, with your you just talking. You can just say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to explain... Physics. Okay. You're not the one to do that. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's None of us know. are, though, so I feel like also this is, uh, you know, When I was in high school, when I was in high school, I was on the winning team for physics in Science Olympiad. Just you were? Saying. I was, yeah. Oh, that's cool. So I didn't go into physics, obviously. In Galway 29, it's like a deformed metallic kui with wings. Did I say that right? Kui? Yeah. Kui. Uh, kiwi? Is that no, the word? No, K-U-I. Jinx you. I'm actually is that looking, like a bird? Or? I'm looking it up because oh, I don't okay. actually know what that is. All right, I'm not gonna bother to put or a pair. What company do you have for internet? I'm actually really curious. So, we want these to fire, then we want them to break off. At the same time they break off, we want the liquid engine to fire, and then we want that thing to break off, and then we want the parachute to go. Okay. So uh, this is going to be. Oh, a kui is a. Polyseismus figure in ancient Chinese mythology. Convoluted disaster. Potential disaster. But we always want to say potential because we don't know that it's going to be a disaster. We're not at hammer time yet. 
The hammer will be, like, we'll actually save that for something big. Like, maybe our first orbit of Kerbin. That's when we'll bring out the hammer. Alright. Yeah. Let's launch a rocket, y'all. Alright. Okay, so what? what's... What's hopefully going to happen here is that mm -hmm. the, these two solid boosters are going to fire. When they get us high enough, we're going to ditch them, which will complete our mission. Uh, we have to be flying between 34,000 and 40,000 meters. I think we can make that. Okay. If not, we're going to have to start over with bigger rockets. Okay. And then uh, our liquid fuel engine, which I'm going to go ahead and throttle up all the way because why not, is then going to fire and use up all of its fuel and then we will have re-entry. This thing I also don't think would stand up. Like, I don't think you would stand it on the actual piece that the fire comes out of, but no, no. it's a video game. Is it so. not going to spin, though, if it's not balanced? It's listing a little bit. No! Um, Why is it listing? It's, uh, oh all right, bail ah! out, bail out, bail out. Okay. No! Uh, We're throttle going down. the wrong direction. Throttle down. We're going sideways. Uh, all right. Let's see. Into the ocean. If we can no! land. <laughs> so that that did not Get go according to the plan. Of the nose dive. Okay. So we're we're gliding. We're gliding, and we're gonna open the chute. Ma! And hopefully the rocket does not crash into the pod ah! and kill us. Okay. Sweet. That was. Oh. <laughs> Poor Jeff. That He's was a little bit touch and like, go. What the hell? That was, what, what just happened? That Dude. was a little touch and go there. That's good. <laughs> Jeff is going to have He's some like... stories, man. <laughs> Jeff is... Look at his little hands. He's like, bah! He's alive. Bah! He's alive, all right? That's what matters. Sure Jeff might be my spirit animal. He's alive. Uh, I'm just making sure our <laughs> local recording is still oh going. God. It is. All right. He's gonna be like a grandpa and just gonna be staring out into space, twitching. His well, he was. He was also. Like... He was also planning to like go forty thousand meters into space today, and he made it that far. <laughs> so, all right. Now what happens if he sinks? Oh, it's fine. The, the capsule. Boat. The capsule doesn't sink. Can... delicious. I was right with my coffin theory. <laughs> all right. So let's recover that. We are not going to get the money back from those boosters that <laughs> exploded. So, clearly. Uh, clearly. Uh, if our solid fuel rockets seem too powerful, we can turn down the thrust in the VAB. Oh, that's right. That is a thing that I forgot about. Slurp has Viasat. I've never heard of that. I'm surprised, because he played Overwatch with us one time, and it didn't seem like he was lagging or anything, so... That was a great Overwatch. That was that was great. I I think we need to do more um, fan Overwatch matches. Well, that's one of the things that DM and I were going to be doing. So yeah. We keep writing instead. <laughs> <laughs> we're terrible. <laughs> okay, so let's put some stabilizers on here. Uh, and we'll just leave it. We'll 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 call this the even more convoluted potential disaster. <laughs> we'll just leave it on full power. I think I think we can make it work. So VSI is exceed satellite and somehow connected to CenturyLink. We have CenturyLink. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, we do have CenturyLink out here. All right. So we're going to throttle up. We're going to launch our solid boosters. Oh, so Laura played Overwatch with you guys. On, yeah, she's uh, going well. Better internet. Oh, uh, okay. She's going well, y'all. Okay, so Ooh, we we need to get up to 34,000. We can't go higher than 40,000. All right, this is looking good. Yeah, it is. Uh, except that they burned out really fast, and now we're not moving. What? <laughs> Too heavy? No! All right, let's uh, let's revert revert flight vehicle assembly. So we might actually need we might actually need to put bigger rockets on this. Let's see. Hammer. We want 4x, radial, whatever. Where is everyone logged in from? Um, I'm just curious to see how many countries we have in chat. I'm trying to remember how to do the like fine adjustment of parts, but I don't really, so. Okay, I think I actually did that correctly. Aerodynamics. Let's put some fins on this mofo. All right, so this is the exceptionally convoluted 
<laughs> I feel like we should just write these out as acronyms. Potential disaster. East Pidip. And we are going to launch it. Craft is too heavy. Okay, the launch pad can't support vessels heavier than 18 tons. The exceptionally convoluted potential disaster's total mass Try taking is 18.05. Try taking a few words off the name. Save, 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 save a few wait, letters. Wait. Let's see. Let's let's take the fins off and see if it'll launch. Okay. And then it'll go everywhere. Uh, let's take these fins off and see no. if it'll launch. No. <laughs> right. Can we just, just have Jeb not be in it? Oh, oh sweet. Yeah. I'm. Uh, not yet. We can eventually have unmanned craft, but we haven't unlocked. Jeb is like guys. <laughs> He's guys. like. You took the stabilizers off, guys? Is that uh, is that approved by the safety board? Well, we'll find out. Hopefully four rockets firing in different directions will be enough to keep us stable. Go out. And, uh, Kebab Lord, uh, TJ's going to Sweden or Stockholm on Wednesday. Yeah. Okay, will we get to 34? That is the question here. Um... This is this craft is very much too heavy. They stop and it's red on the bottom. The uh, it's hot. hot. Yeah. So this is We're all going to die. Let's see what it says our apoapsis is going to be. Yeah, that's that's not going to that's not going to cut it. Um all right, so we can't make it heavier. Don't forget about the other engine says Command Delicious. Yes, we might we might need to set it up in such a way that we can <laughs> fire the liquid engine. Let's see let's see if that does it. Yes, go buy tickets, kebab. TG will be there for, for the entire time. Okay, so here, here, here's what we might need to do. Let's let's put the decouplers here. Yeah, that that might be all we need to do is just change the staging. Let's let's see if this liquid engine actually has enough fuel in it to get us up there. So we're gonna fire our first stage. Looks like we're about to run out of fuel. We'll fire the second stage, and then hopefully we can get up to 34k before we have to decouple. This would be easy. Oh, I know what we can do. This is silly. I know exactly what we can do here. All right, decouple or not decouple? Just start the liquid fuel engine. We're still gaining altitude. Mm -hmm. We are about to run out of liquid fuel, though. <laughs> um, have you, TJ, have you had your strumming? I Start have, strumming? yeah, actually. Yep. I actually, I actually, I usually enjoy that like weird, sca weird Scandinavian fish dishes that most tourists don't like. I want to try it. I, I did not have halkara when I was in uh, Iceland. I really wanted to try it, but we didn't actually go anywhere that that had it. Okay, so that's not going to work. So. Here's what I think we need to actually. And kebab do. TJ loves meat, so if you want to get him drunk. Oh, I love. I absolutely love meat. meat. Yeah. That was the best uh, meat I've ever had was in Sweden. Meat. Yum. So Ugh. here's what I think we need to do. We need to we need to do two stages of solid boosters. Okay. So that we can decouple some of them and then decouple the rest. If you reduce the thrust on the solid fuel boosters, you'll get higher. Probably like fifty percent, maybe. Okay, uh, we will try that as well. So, and then can we do a quad? No, we can't really do that. I'll have to do it manually in the staging. Nope, that's not what I wanted. All right, hammer time. Looks good. These aren't going to be exactly level, but... <laughs> but who needs exact stuff? Doesn't have just to science. be exact, is what we're <laughs> going to call this vessel. All right, so now that we have a couple of these, let's put the thrust limit. Did he say by 50%? Um, yes. All right, let's put them at 50%. Thrust limit, 50%. Thrust limit, 50%. All right, and then I'm going to have two different stages of decoupling. So the first ten thousand is the thickest part of the atmosphere. You right. Can only go so fast. So ideally, you want to get out of that before. You so away. we're gonna fire. We're gonna fire all the boosters, except not the liquid fuel one. I have to figure out how I'm gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna decouple at least two of these early, and then 
Then yeah, we'll fire the liquid fuel booster when we do that. Right? Mm. No, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a liquid fuel booster. That's why I'm confused. All right, so we'll detach half of them. We'll get up to the altitude we need, and then we'll detach the other half, which should give us what we need for the mission. <laughs> Who needs okay. NASA? We have Lorem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's see how this goes. We're gonna throttle up. There we go. We are going up slower than before, but our fuel will last longer, so that is actually that's a good tip. Um and then we would need to figure out how to upgrade the launch pad, because I actually don't know how to upgrade buildings in this game. And then we're gonna ditch some weight. And at that the same time that we ditch weight, we're gonna we're gonna launch the solid or we're gonna start up the liquid fuel booster. Hopefully there won't be so much air pressure acting on us that it completely throws us off course, because I did take all of the fins off of this thing. Mm -hmm. So says uh, right click on the building to upgrade it. Okay, cool. Oh, make it easy. Yeah, that's that's fairly simple. Oh, there's a ghost too. All right, so there goes two of them. So we are now working with a lighter craft. And we are, we are pretty much on the straight and narrow. We're not going exactly straight up, but I think maybe we can reach... Oh here. yeah, our, our apoapsis, it looks like, is going to be over the limit that we need. So all we need to do at this point is drift into space. Are you using WASD to control the rocket at all? Uh, not yet. <laughs> I do know that that is a thing. I just haven't been because we haven't needed it particularly. I actually have a flight stick that I, I used to plug in for this game, so we might do that again. Okay, so we need to hit... 34, and then decouple these other two pieces. 33, 34, boom. And we finished the mission. Yay! So let's uh, plummet terrifyingly back to Earth. I was gonna say, I really feel like Jeb should be more excited about this. Look at that thing going spinning off. That's gonna, that's gonna like hit somebody's house. That's going to land on a Chuck E. Cheese and there's going to be a lawsuit. Well, technically we don't have any houses, though, so I'm not really out that worried about it. That's true. That yeah. kind of went out there. Yeah, what, yeah. so DM, what it, what would be our exposure if one of our rocket boosters landed on a Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> tremendous exposure. <laughs> <laughs> just tremendous. Basically, yeah. this is all your fault. Yeah. Just, just tremendous. Not even a little bit. Do, do you else. want a list of houses <laughs> of action? Because... I, I think I can tell you what I'd start with on page one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. No! Oh, you no! killed Jeb! That you was... killed Jeb! I did not open the parachute fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was all calm and thinking that we were fine. Um, okay, people in chat, do you want me to revert launch or should we just say, should we go Iron Man? Should we say that dead is dead? <laughs> <laughs> You, you can hold his fate in your hands right now. We just um, killed Jeb. <laughs> so wait, so did, if we get a new one, does he have a new name? Or are they all named Jeb? No, they, they all have different names. Confusing as No, they, they all have different names. Okay. We dead have, is dead. Everyone's saying. Dead, dead is, is dead. dead. Okay, so from now on, from here on out, we cannot, uh, we cannot revert an exploded spaceship. Rest in peace. Poor so Jeb, Jeb yep, yeah, that's... That's, uh, I think we need to hire another pilot now. <laughs> uh, so no, no, Jeb will Lars. not be staring out with his grandkids saying, the whore, the whore. <laughs> Poor <laughs> Jeb. Jeb. Oh, we are, we did, we did have a, we did have an extra pilot. We sent pilot, Jeb's but. remains back to his family in a matchbox. He doesn't even get to sit there. Did we finish the mission at least? <laughs> uh, yes, we did. It doesn't matter that he died. Uh, we finished the mission. <laughs> um... Test the thumper solid fuel booster in flight over Kerbin. I don't think we he have did. that. I'll say yet. you he did. General rocketry. There we go. We can can we unlock it? We can unlock it. Alright. Popcorn? Popcorn? We're gonna do a new Oh, I thought this was gonna be salty. Give me some more Not some more coffee. <laughs> Please. Grab a parachute. <laughs> 
But I'm adorable, so I'll yeah, do what I want. I <laughs> All right, let's put some stabilizers on this thing. Oh, we might need to upgrade. Oh, I want that engine. <laughs> you want what? That engine, whatever that is. What is that? Oh no, yeah, that's this is what we're launching. Oh sweet. Yeah, this is this is what we're doing. Um, I don't. Let's call this thing the big honkin disaster. <laughs> and because it's it's the biggest rocket we've launched so far. And can we launch it? We can. Okay. So. Objectives. Did I not accept the contract? All right, we're gonna leave you there for a second. I must have not accepted the contract. Can you imagine that conversation in real, in real life, getting to the getting to the <laughs> yeah. contract and be like, like, "Did you sign the contract? No. Did you sign the? Oh my God! Someone <laughs> run down to the office and get the contract." <laughs> we built this whole rocket for a contract that we didn't even secure yet. Uh, um, Kebab, it's uh, around 6 p.m. Mountain Time in the U.S. All right, so... It's still slightly raining. It was hailing earlier. And what does run test do? I don't know what this button does, so I'm going to click it. Okay, that apparently... Wow! Oh, oh, whoever this okay. new guy is, he looks very happy that we launched him. Valentina, it's a she. Actually. Oh, it's a she! Yeah. Uh -huh. Look at her being all happy and yeah. not progressive. Yeah, not evil, Commander. So we need to well, we need to maintain. I mean, they sort of are. They're very pretty to look at, but they're terrifying to drive in, and they're really hard to walk no, up. No, they're not. They're terrifying to drive in, no. and they're really hard to walk up. Um, I don't know if we actually completed it or I not. In the mountains, if I could. You will someday. Yep. You will I have think, to come down and visit me. I think no, that I'll make you come up. <laughs> make you walk up the mountain. Oh, nope, we not walking up the mountain. <laughs> We had a staging problem. I'm gonna have to correct no! this in flight. We're also, we're killing our first female astronaut. All of our parts are overheating, time? and uh... No. <laughs> this is what happens when you send Wait, a lady did... astronaut up in a giant penis. Did, <laughs> did the parachute break? <laughs> Safe to deploy. Unsafe. Okay. Well, uh, um, it is unsafe. We're going into space. Let's. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we're gonna. We're. This is gonna be the highest we've gone so far, by far, actually. Let's see. We're gonna hit about 300k. <laughs> Look at that. We do live we're... like literally five minutes away from the Boulder Mountains. Yeah, we do. We are way up there. Okay, let's. Detach. If you feel like it, Google the Boulder Flatirons. It's really pretty. We detach part of the ship. But I think and because yes, there's German no air resistance, are pure magic. I it go hasn't. It hasn't actually decoupled yet. Did it lock? Did the oh I don't shit! Know, I think she's stuck in there. She's gonna die. De TJ, you decouple. killed her. Decouple. Okay, <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. But I got she's it. going the wrong way. Isn't well, we have to go it's back. It's really raining, you guys. Yeah. All right, so as long as the pod doesn't overheat and blow up, I think she's going to survive. Right to click on the coffee pit and do the report. Uh, oh, yeah, we haven't been taking reports. <laughs> um, crew report. All right, so we got a crew report flying over Cur Kerbin's Highlands. Let's keep it. Thank you for coffee. I keep forgetting about crew reports because that was inter that had like just been introduced the last time so, I played this game. Chloe, what, what is uh, what is coffee creamer made out of? Cream and sugar. Yeah, what is cream? Milk. And do we like to leave dairy products out of the refrigerator <laughs> for seven years? <laughs> Probably not. Also, Although most of our stuff is so. Can someone grab pasteurized, the door so we don't have that? As long as we learn something today. <laughs> okay, so we, we deployed the parachute in time. Uh, we've determined that 250 meters a second is an appropriate speed to deploy the parachute. So that's good to know. Um, we also could have just asked our engineering team what the safe speed was, and then Jeb would still be alive, but we didn't do that. Mandelicious, you can have popcorn. <laughs> Here, you can have it. Oh, okay. All right. Just have to come get some, man. Come we get have some. Couch. I don't recommend Flying United. They're getting some bad PR these days. <laughs> All right. My friend is a flight attendant for United. I feel bad for her. I mean, we call that picking the low-hanging fruit, I'm sure. <laughs> a vast majority of them are lovely, perfectly competent people. All right, where is our rocket? Bruce Willis. 
I mean, I feel like these days Bruce Willis might not win against the asteroid. Writers have gotten kind of cynical. Tracking and audiences station. let some people die. There it is. How about? Okay, so we actually went pretty far. So here's the space center. It looks like. Um. <laughs> And here's where the big honkin' disaster touched down. So we actually went all the way across a mountain oh range there. Cool. So we can recover that vessel. As we should. We finished, uh, hey, TK, finished the mission. Hey, guess who's begging for food? Uh, I have no idea. That's I wouldn't even begin to tell you. Ferry a VIP to their destination. So Dottie Kerman has chartered a tour to see the sights right here on Kerbin, keep her alive and show Casey her a good time. staring at me. <laughs> um, we should send her up in the giant phallic object. Oh, she has like a specific flight itinerary though. That's going to oh. be annoying. Mm -hmm. um, haul a heat shield into flight above Kerbin. Um, we could probably do that. Prestige level significant. I like prestige. I believe we already unlocked that, didn't we? All right, let's let's build. Let's get like a stock rocket going. This is gonna be like our. Let's see, where's our? Is this? Where's our fuel tank? Okay, we actually have a, a fuel tank that's not garbage now. Woohoo! Um, so we're gonna call it not garbage fuel tank. Rocket. <laughs> it's not the total NGF garbage. <laughs> NTGF. All right, so. I'm telling you. Cut down on our letters. <laughs> it's true. We do. We do only have a you know a limited. Fly to the North Pole. Max thrust. This is actually a much better engine. It looks like. We can meet the Kerbin Santa Claus. Uh, is there a Kerbin Santa Claus? I is don't know. Actually. Pole? Does anybody know? I have no idea. <clears throat> Chat probably knows. If not, there's probably a mod for it. There are a lot of mods for this game. Nice. Okay, so this is the not total garbage. Uh, we need to slap a heat shield on this thing, which is somewhere in this menu here. There we go. That's <laughs> this is the one we got the contract for. Dang right? it, no Santa Claus. Just ice. Make sure this is the actual part that we're supposed to be launching. We should find the most obscure mod and play. I'd love to see what people come up. The with most obscure. Oh, we didn't we didn't finish that solid fuel booster mission. Oh well, um, we need to be at 16k. So here, let's let's see if we can just throttle very lightly to get going. A metric top? Question mark. <laughs> All right, we have to be going 1870 meters a second, and we have to be at 16,000 meters with this heat shield. So we might actually need to build a bigger rocket to do that. But let's see if this guy can. Live up to its name of not total garbage. And it looks like that's probably gonna be a no. Uh, it's listing! Um It's listing is it listing or is that yet? It's it's kind of listing a little bit, but we have fins on there, so it's not gonna go into a spin or anything. Okay, maybe we just need a better fuel tank. Revert to vehicle assembly. <laughs> Let's 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 stick a few of these guys on here actually. Uh, and for those who have joined late, we haven't streamed in a while. Yeah. Uh, we've been pretty busy. We do plan on streaming a lot more. We we've been working yeah, we've been focusing on YouTube lately, but if you know what's going on YouTube on YouTube bad. right YouTube. now. Too bad yeah. a couple other projects. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> in terms of gaming videos, we've been focused mostly on YouTube, so